This following video is presented by Presence Consulting Group, where we commit ourselves to your project's success. For more information, please visit our website at www.presencecg.com. Today, our technical topic is building a three-level master detail page in Iron Speed Designer, and our presenter is Iron Speed MVP Herman Chan. For questions after seeing the video, please email Herman at herman.chan at presentcg.com. Hi, today I want to introduce one of the hidden gems in Iron Speed Designer page types, show table page with details below. Working with fellow Iron Speed developers, I've discovered that most of us don't use that page type enough, but it is a really neat type. More than often, we want to see a lot of details on the same page about one particular subject. Sometimes it's a person, or it's a store, or it could be a particular product. Um, about this inventory level, technical specs, uh, sales prediction, or vendor information, all in the same page. Well, to do this, we can easily have a new page with an iron speed record control on top and then tabs on the bottom. But what if user wants to easily move across the list, jumping from one product to another? We can then use this advanced page type I'm going to cover in this tutorial. Okay. Let's first take a look at the finished page to give some perspectives. In this example, I'm building an enterprise-level asset management system which IT uses to track all of the equipments, such as computers, cell phones, projectors, etc. For each asset family, there are different tabs to show details such as manufacturers, resellers, inventory level, and their own product group information. Within the product group tab, I have implemented the expand and collapse row mechanism to show the third level of details. To build such a page, the first thing is to make sure all the database relationships have been properly defined so that when ISV generates the page, all the tabs are properly generated. So here is a very simple database structure with just a couple of tables. We have asset family, product group, product, and their associated manufacturer and reseller. We also have two views to associate manufacturers and resellers with asset family. Okay, so let's start creating the page. We'll switch back to Ironspeed Designer and launch the application wizard. We'll select this advanced page type and also select asset family as our table to generate this new page off of. We are going to create one new page and this page is going to be called asset family 4. Automatically, it has created three related tabs, manufacturers, product group, and resellers, and information is populated already by Ironspeed Designer. On the product group tab, the immediate child level detail is already shown, and now I'm going to demonstrate how to implement the expand and collapse data row mechanism to show another level down from here, just like my finished page before. Let me go back to my Iron Speed Designer and move to Asset Family 4 page, the page I've been working with. I'm going to go into the Product Group panel and then the Product Group, group fields. I'm going to move to the side, to the left side, add one column on my left. Merge the cells on the column header row. And I'm going to add a button right here, which is the Expand and Collapse Row button. Let me first build the application.
and I'm going to add a row below this. And I'm going to merge the cells below the product group name and the description. This is where our product show table control begins and ends. So on a panels tab, I'm going to drag and add the product show table control. The configuration wizard pops up and I'm going to set my options here. I'm going to do a build right now, but if you go to the application at this point, you will see that our work has not been completed yet. You'll see that in a second. Let me refresh the page. Okay, so now the page is refreshed. If we go into the product group tab, we can see that the third level details products is appropriately associated with those product groups. However, if we click on the collapse and expand row button, you're getting an error page. So here's the trick. You have to go back to Iron Speed Designer, go to product table control, styles, row, and enter two different attributes in order to hook them up. The first one is ID and you have to put in product group table control odd row in order to let IronSpeed knows that which table control it should be referencing to when doing the expand and collapse function. And the second one is run at and here we just simply put server. So we Click OK and build the application. So let me clarify how to put the correct value of ID in the first row attribute. We need to first put in the name of the show table control of the parent of this collapsible data row. In this case, product group table control. And then we are concatenating the word odd row at the end. And that's the tag ISV designer will understand. Okay, as the application finishes booting, let's move back to the browser and see how it behaves. Let me go back and refresh the page. So let's take a look at product group tab. And as you can see, the collapse and expand row button is now working correctly. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.